Hello Pisces. This is you versus them for the 29th through the 4th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Something flipped over there. We have the Ten of Wands. A lot of signs have been getting the Nine of Wands. You guys are the Ten of Wands today, so I think that um, there's something that you're putting to bed here. You're completing something here. Like, you know, it's done, it's over with. You've been through this pain. You've been through this hurt. You've been through... Um, You've been through some upheaval here, and I felt like there was a lot that you guys were carrying by yourselves, and now you're just done and over with with that, and um, you're just standing in your power is what I'm feeling here. Um, I think you are kind of like you're not taking any more action towards any this situation, whatever this Ten of Wands is relating to. Um, you, you're just kind of taking your hands off of it and you're kind of being um, non-emotional about it. It's like very matter of fact, okay? It's like you're just done with it. So let's see what's going on currently with them. Ten of Cups. Hmm. There's something that they're happy about. There's something that they are feeling totally fulfilled about. I get the feeling in Pisces that maybe you guys are on this side. <laughs> um, but we'll see with the cards how they how they lay out. But I think that um, maybe you guys have gotten back together. We have two endings here, actually. So maybe, maybe you guys shared this burden together and it's like you're done and over with whatever it was that um, was weighing so very heavily on you and both of you now feel like maybe you can carry this burden together where one of you was carrying it before okay so let's see let's see how this plays out let's see leaving worries behind here let's see what's keeping you guys apart if anything is keeping you apart here King of Wands. Huh. Somebody on this side feels like they were carrying all the weight before. Carrying you, carrying them, carrying the relationship. They feel like all of the baggage, all of the worry, um, keeping the relationship afloat, you know, they felt like it was all on them whoever this is but feeling very strong now feeling very confident um, and I feel like not taking any more bullshit over here it's like that's done you know I'm not carrying all the weight anymore I'm delegating you know somebody else needs to carry some too let's see what is keeping them from you the king of swords here hmm Somebody's pretending. Somebody's acting like they don't give a ish when they do. Okay? Whether it's you or the other person, my Pisces. Somebody's really acting very aloof, very non-emotional. Um, but knowing that being with the other person is truly what makes them happy. Feeling like that is where... You know they can receive their ultimate fulfillment from the relationship hmm let's see what the influence is for them for you four of swords there was something very painful here Something very painful here that I feel like, you know, was has taken a long time for you guys to get over. But I feel like you're over it. I feel like you're resting. I feel like you're gaining your strength. Um, I feel like you guys are standing in your element. I feel like you're no longer willing to bear the brunt of all the bull crap that has gone on. You're not taking the responsibility for anybody else's actions anymore. Um, no. 
If they're not willing to accept it, I think you're laying it at their doorstep. Whatever they're responsible for, whatever they have done, then um, I think you're giving it to them. You're not accepting it anymore. And then as I look under the bottom of the deck, I see the lovers here. And I think you guys really are um, really connected with this person. Maybe a Gemini you guys are dealing with or even Aquarius energy. But um, I think, you know, you've just made a choice that that you choose you that is you you know your well-being your the way you feel takes precedent over anybody else and the way that they feel you know i don't feel like you guys are out to hurt anybody but i definitely feel like you know you're putting yourself first here okay so let's see what their influence is here what is their influence the knight of pentacles Hmm. I don't know if there's somebody else in their energy. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I'm feeling more Taurus energy here, more stubborn energy, or either this person probably has, they're on a cusp, cusp of um, Gemini, um, Taurus, but <laughs> moving very slow, moving, you know, numbering their steps here trying to figure out what's best what's the next best move here in this situation very committed energy um this person may be involved in a same-sex relationship possibly does not have to be but and with somebody younger as well but but i think that this person is is more comfortable with situations that that are not overly emotional. They function better out of um, logic and reason here. Okay, so mm, something something's going on over here on this side. Something is going on over here on this side here. Let's see what is blocking you guys. The Five of Swords. Hmm. What's blocking you is I feel like um, you guys are just not willing to accept what this person is offering. And I get the feeling that this is an individual that that almost feels like you need to take what they give you, but you're not. You'd rather be by yourself, I feel, and get over the situation on your own than to accept any nonsense from this individual. And you're fighting to you you're fighting for them to accept some responsibility. Like you're not willing to, you know, carry this weight on your shoulders anymore. That's what's blocking them from you. Is the fact that you're not allowing the bullshit is what I'm getting. Let's see what's blocking them. What's blocking them? The Ace of Swords, them being up front, them telling you that, you know, they really, you really do make them happy, that they really do see themselves being with you, um, that they can love you the way that you need to be loved. Them being honest, speaking the truth, being forthright, coming with it. But at the same time, I feel like there's somebody else in your energy over here. Okay. Taurus individual. Let's see what the advice is for Pisces. Walk away. Do what you've been doing. Rest, recoup, and regroup. Okay. Meditate. Leave behind the nonsense that you've dealt with. No more carrying all the weight by yourself. 
here. Let's see what the advice is for them. Page of Cups. <laughs> they need to tell you the truth. They need to offer their love to you. Tell you the truth about what it is that they want. But I think this is a need for them to decide exactly what it is that they want because I, I, I strongly get a feeling that there's somebody that may be saying sex with the person that you are thinking about that has a crush. That has a crush on them. Younger person. If they're not younger, they're, um, they're not as mature. Hmm. Maybe cancer energy there. Let's see <clears throat> what you guys will do here. I, I feel like you guys will have the confidence to walk away and, and avoid any more conflict in this situation with this person. That's what I feel like you will do. Continue to stand in your power. Rest. Build yourself up. And no longer put yourself in a situation where it's one-sided or where you feel like you're you're doing all of the work, you're carrying all the weight of trying to make the relationship work here. Let's see what, what they will do. Let's see what they will do. Six of Cups. I feel like they're going to come back. And I feel like when they come back, it's going to be flowers and the whole shebang. I feel like they will. For some of you guys, um, your person, again, like I said, has an admirer. I don't know if this is a, something that um, that has transpired between them and someone else or whether this person just has a crush, um, whether, whether or not, you know, the reason why you guys are not together is because they um, secretly wanted to explore something um, and see how, you know, that would go. But I'm feeling that it didn't go anywhere. But I feel like someone tried. The admirer. And it may have been like a student of theirs or an apprentice of theirs. Somebody that worked under them maybe or worked with them. But I feel like they're coming back. They're wanting to. There are no wands here. So I don't see any movement, but energetically, this person is, is committed to you. Energetically. Okay. Is, is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> Let's bridge this gap and see what's going on here. That part wanted to jump out. The Seven of Swords. Huh. Well, so apparently somebody, somebody lied, somebody cheated, somebody stole, somebody did something that was, that was underhanded. Okay. This is also self-deception. So if this person left you and basically told themselves that they wanted to explore other things or um, they didn't want to be in a committed relationship. They lied to themselves. If they snuck out on you, um, they're coming back. They're not coming back this week. There are no wands here. But like I said, energetically, they are with you guys. Um, but this person, I feel like, will make, a, make an appearance here. Okay. Most definitely. Hmm. Probably either in the next few months or in the fall, probably of next year. Because hmm. they, they're stubborn here. We have the Seven of Wands. I think you guys are really like, you know, you're standing your ground with this person. <laughs> and they're really confused about that. They're really confused about that. You guys are blocking out any energy where um, you feel like this person may put you in a third party situation. 
Um, I don't think you're confused about what's going on here. Uh, some of you may even know about this situation that we talked about with um, that Meyer over here, but I don't think you guys are confused at all. I think you know exactly what it is that you want, but this person is very confused about how it is that you're handling this situation currently, okay? So here we have Scorpio, we have Leo, Aquarius, um, Taurus, energy I feel, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini energy. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.